Why does it always smell bad after you vacuum? Hello friends, happy Monday. My apartment has a dog in it, so obviously there will be stuffing all over the carpet in places where said dog has been. And I guess maybe I'm the only one who really cares that they're stuffing all over the carpet. So, did some vacuuming today. And that reminded me of a story from when I was a teenager. So my family got a Kirby vacuum when I was probably 17, 16 or 17, from a door-to-door -door salesman. That's a different story for a different day. But this vacuum changed our lives. <laughs> I say that because in the past we had had a pretty crappy vacuum and we had needed to replace it. But if you haven't seen a Kirby vacuum, they are very heavy. Not only that, they have different settings for vacuuming on carpet versus vacuuming on like a wood floor or linoleum, that type of thing. So it made it much easier for us to clean our house. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean it was dummy proof. So one day I was assigned to vacuum our addition area of our house, which is the craft room and the guest room and the bathroom that are over our garage. That day I was vacuuming barefoot, which I gotta say, with a heavy vacuum is maybe not the best idea. You might drop the vacuum on your foot when you're carrying it. But of course, as a teenager, I wasn't really thinking about that. So while I was vacuuming the hard floor, because we didn't have carpet in there, just casually rolling the vacuum along, that vacuum would pick up a lot of momentum and a lot of times it would roll further back than you were expecting when you were pushing it back and forth. And as I was probably singing to myself, that wouldn't surprise me if that was something I was doing at that time, and not paying any attention to where the vacuum was rolling, I didn't keep control of the vacuum as well as I should have. And the vacuum rolled back over my toe. My big toe. Now, the, <laughs> this could have been a lot better if it hadn't been a Kirby and if I hadn't been barefoot. Even sock foot, I think, might have helped. But in this circumstance, as I was rolling the vacuum over my toe, I felt a sharp shooting pain through my entire foot. And when I picked the vacuum up off my foot and turned it off, I realized that my toe was bloody. Really bloody. I don't have any pictures of it, and I'm sure most of you are very glad for that. As weird injuries around the house go, that might be my weirdest injury. It did heal, and I can promise you that for the next maybe year or two, I never vacuumed without shoes. Yeah, I, I kind of learned my lesson.